Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. Today is the long awaited day. I mean, the day we've been waiting for essentially since we moved into this house two and a half years ago. Today is the day that Grant and I get to seed our lawn. This is yet another new tractor that we have on our farm. We've had an orange tractor, a blue tractor, and now a red tractor. I have never heard of this a century c42l what do you think kitty you like this tractor do you approve i think she does <laughs> um and we've got a land pride drill on the back and it is full of some grass seed a little fescue blend action in there and uh let's see if this thing starts up Oh, yeah. Do you think we can figure out how to do this? There's a lot of levers on these things. I think we can figure it out. All right. If you're curious, this is what we're planting here. All right. First pass. Have to be wary of these flags. Each flag is an underground sprinkler head. So we'll try not to run over those. It's dropping seed. So while this is a black cat, you might notice that she is not Scotty. Um, unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, he went missing and uh, Grant and I drove all over the countryside, asked all our neighbors. Scotty was nowhere to be found. So I held out hope for a couple weeks, hoping that he was just on a little adventure and would come back home, but he has not returned. So while it isn't Scotty, this is Pepper. She's our new little farm cat. Scotty was the best cat I have ever met and I will never be over him but Pepper is helping. She's a very nice black cat. She's very small and she's a good hunter. So I hope you guys like her as much as you liked Scotty. She's very, very lovable. Good morning, Pepper. As you guys know, I've been growing a little garden on a pallet. It's actually super convenient. I can move it around wherever I like. Um, it's definitely a little overcrowded, but that's okay. Um, I harvested one of the onions that we grew and it was really good. I've got so so many jalapenos coming along. I haven't had a ripe tomato yet, but when I do start having ripe tomatoes, there will be a lot of them. That's for sure. I'll stand over here, right on the edge. Okay. So we have this little section seeded here and we ran out of seed. So we're just making sure Oh, that was, a, that was an instruction for me, not talking to the audience. Okay. 
<laughs> we just want to make sure that we're putting down the right amount so we don't have to do this again. We also don't want to run out of seed before we're done seeding. To any kids that are watching, this is proof that you do use math in real life. We're doing like area and circumference and diameter and how many pounds we have here versus how many we're putting out at what rate. We do have calculators though, so yeah, that's Yeah, my nice. teachers always said we would never have a calculator in a pocket, but ha, huh. Grant is in the tractor and I've got this rake which happens to be the most handy rake ever. It looks like it would be flimsy, but it's not. And you can adjust it to be tighter or wider. I don't know, this, whoever came up with this rake design is genius. But I'm going around the trees because the tractor can't get this close. And I'm just kind of breaking up the ground. I'm taking out any debris that I missed the last time I raked. And then I've just got a pitcher full of grass seed and I'm just taking it and spreading it out by hand just to make sure we get all the way up to the base. Around the newly planted trees I am leaving just a little ring if you can see where I've built up a little bit of a mound and I've been watering them right here so that the water kind of sits in a basin and uh, I will be planting grass up close to them I later I think or I might be doing some mulch but I am just seeding right up to that little mound I built because I'm still watering these every day or every other day. We're clearly, clearly experts here in our jobs. We can farm corn. I don't know about grass. You know how long it takes to plant one acre of corn? About a minute and a half, maybe two. It's taken us all day to do one acre of grass. It's actually taken us months of preparation, plus all day today to plant this grass. Took me another two hours, but I went along with this little key here and made sure that every single sprinkler was in its right place, doing the right thing. And it's working. We have a seeded lawn. Check this out. Sprinklers. Now the real question is, um, is any of this gonna grow? I mean, I really hope it, does and I think it will I, like there's really no reason why it shouldn't but it's kind of like the feeling when you're in the planter planting corn and you're looking behind you and like all the monitors say you're planting and everything looks like it's going well but still there's this stinking feeling in the back of your head like none of these seeds could sprout so I really hope they do so I hope you guys stick around to see what the yard looks like when it's fully developed well you know we could have waited to the morning, but that would be too easy. We've got other things to do in the morning. So we chose the uh, mm, hottest time of day to do this job because it seems only fitting that the pipe would have been sitting out in the sun all day and the sun would be just blindingly above you. Um, it actually makes it easier to lay out pipe when there's sweat dripping in your eyes. You like kind of squint and makes everything look a lot better and prettier. So. You can lube the pipe with your sweat? Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, but I can't complain too much because this is the only cart of pipe that we lay out on the farm. And it's for this little section right here that the pivot doesn't water and the end gun doesn't water. And so we have it. Might as well lay it out. And that's another reason why we cultivate because it creates a nice furrow for the water, which comes out of these little gates right here. That's what they're called. So there's a well and an engine down there that's running a pivot. And then there's just like, there's a pipe that goes to the pivot and then we just hook this pipe up to another pipe that comes off. And then you lay it all out and then you have it turned so these little gates here are going down the road. And then you come along and open them up. And open them up. And how much you open them up depends on, you know, how much water you want run down the row. So you can run them in like six, eight, or 12 hour sets. So you usually do like every other row is on or off. 
and water just runs down and now you have a non-irrigated quarter turned into an irrigated quarter just takes i was gonna say a little bit more work than a pivot but it feels like they're about the same get ice cream for us yeah Exactly. Oh, Paul, it melted, guys. Sorry. Sorry, I had to clean it up. All right. Yeah. Ready? Perfect. In case you're wondering, I did show up late to the party, as you can tell by my non-sweaty complexion. Unreal. Laura and Gage have got, uh, I wouldn't say half, but a good portion of it done. A pretty good portion. I would like to say, the uh, decals oh, yeah. on this shirt are seriously holding up. I'm very very sweaty underneath here and uh these are good shirts it's the heat's fault not the yeah. shirt's fault we got so. these nice shirts for lightweight working if i can if i can wear a job like this you can definitely wear it i promise you that you've been tested They've field been tested truly <laughs> field tested yeah exactly and it doesn't take much if you want this same shirt or the one that grant's wearing it's literally right underneath this youtube video right here you can just click on it and go directly to the website Okay, so there's a male end and a female end to the pipe. And on this female end here is a rubber gasket that looks just like this. It's very important that these are intact because otherwise we're going to have serious problems. Water, pipes blowing apart. So it's important. Another thing while I'm checking while I'm putting these together is that these gaskets are all good. Yeah, these things are the best. 